everyone, and welcome to this month's Cupid Network Employee Spotlight. Today, I'm here with my friend and colleague, Ron Trepton, uh, Network Security Engineer here at Cubit. Hello, everyone. Ron, thanks for being here. So, Ron, I think, is my longest employee. I think so. Yeah, Cubit, I think so. Because you started at New Age. 2000, January 2013. Yeah. I, that was before Qubit. Yes, mm -hmm. we started Qubit in October of 13. So, mm -hmm. uh, so you've seen a lot of comings and goings at, at, Absolutely. at Qubit land, right? Yes. So, okay, so uh, getting to know, little, know a little bit more about you. So first question, describe a day in the life of a network security engineer. Day in the life of a network security engineer. Um, sometimes you wake up with a plan of what you want to achieve for the day and something happens with a customer's network, emergency call comes in, and those plans that you had just go by the wayside. Uh, the project, the, the work on whatever project or projects you wanted to achieve for the day, you maybe, maybe you don't get done because emergency takes preference over, yep. over that. Um, but generally, if, you know, if emergencies don't happen, then we're doing project work. Uh, maybe we're doing a ticket work that isn't as huge of a priority, like a network down. Um, that's, I guess that's a, like the, an ideal day, yeah. but it's just basically what I'm getting at is that it's, it, it's different from day to day. Day to day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And one of the things I love about what we do is while the networking is kind of the same, mm -hmm. where we work is drastically different. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So between a, a school or a, transportation organization or a factory or, right you know you've done some pretty cool stuff mm -hmm. in, in heavy industrial you know mm -hmm. mills and things and stuff right. yeah, that's definitely cool cool mm -hmm. so uh next one if you had the opportunity to meet mm -hmm. anyone of your choice who would it be yeah uh you know what one thing about me that um perhaps you don't even know is that i really dig World War II, like historical type, yeah. really, really any any type of like conflict, like historical, yeah. um, history, so history in general. II, yeah. yeah, I guess especially World War Two, yeah. and I think maybe um, General Patton. Yeah, mm -hmm. that would be cool. General yeah, Patton. General Very Patton. Cool. Yeah, I mean, he. You could look, and you don't find him really talking, giving big, huge speech speeches, right. um, but he. He, he, he gets the job done. Oh, yeah. he, he got the job yeah, done. Yeah, for sure. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, pretty mm -hmm. cool. So I also love World War II history, so mm -hmm. we'll talk more about that. Right. Um, what is a funny story that your family would tell about you? I'm thinking, okay, what my family would tell about me. So I'm going to tell, I'm gonna, if I may, yeah. I'm going to tell a story. It's not necessarily my family, but it's way back when, okay. um, when I was in the Air Force, when yeah. I very my you know, first year in the Air Force, when I got to my first duty station. Yeah. This is in Texas? This is in Texas, this is yeah. in San Antonio, Texas, uh, Randolph Air Force Base. Uh -huh. And I think it was maybe like my second or third day, uh -huh. um, they sent me, the, the senior airmen, they sent me out. Now, I, I, just to preface a little bit, everything in the military, like every chemical has its own like special de designation, right. um, MIL dash, whatever. Yeah. So they sent me out to the Tessa where they take the jet engines after, they, after we get done building them in the shop to test them, obviously. And they sent me to get a bucket of degreaser called K9P. <laughs> and being the young, naive airman, I that, walked... Is that a legitimate thing or were they just messing with They you? were just messing with <laughs> K9P, dog, yeah. dog, dog pee. pee, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, being naive, yeah. young and naive, I walked all the way out to the test cell and asked for a bucket of K9 pee. <laughs> and walked it all the way back to the engine shop. Did they give you really K9 pee? They gave, <laughs> no, they oh. gave, it, it, was, it was a bucket of JPA, which oh, was okay. jet engine fuel. Got it, yeah, that's funny. Uh, so. Uh, that's funny. Yeah, and they, you know, it was it was months before. Yeah, you know, that's funny. Like, Very cool. Yeah. Um, if you could have any job in the world, what would it be? 
uh, I mean, you know, I love being a network engineer, but you know, there was once a point in my life where I want to be a lawyer. Okay. And more than just a lawyer, I want to be a judge. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah interesting. Yeah. Um, I, I, I don't know why. I, mean, I actually, I kind of do know why. Yeah. I think it's desire to create order. Yeah. I or, can or, see that yeah. totally. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, you know, what what job really creates order as much as a yeah. judge? So I wonder, like. So a lot of these judges are elected. So I wonder if you could be a judge without being a lawyer. It seems like it would be pretty difficult. Right. But, uh, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. yeah I, can, mm -hmm. I can see that because mm -hmm. you like order like mm -hmm. in your job and in your, in your right. life. Mm -hmm. you know? um, okay, last question. When you get a chance to vacation, where do you like to go? Yeah. So I, I kind of like to go to the more quieter, yeah. peaceful settings. And I think the probably the most peaceful vacation, best vacation in my opinion that I ever went to was uh, fishing up in Canada. Oh, nice! Yeah, yeah, it's just it's just beautiful. The bald eagles are flying around. Yeah. You're out on a boat, a fishing boat, and it's just quiet. Just yeah. And the the only sounds like are the fish. sounds of nature. I, and I love the fish, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's cool. Where did you go in Canada? Uh, went up to Minnesota, International Falls, okay. to a place called Rainy Lake. Got it crossed over yeah very cool mm -hmm. very cool well ron thanks for uh revealing a little bit more about mm -hmm. you and, and uh even more than thanks for uh, being with us for so long uh mm -hmm. just love working with you so everybody Ditto. thanks for watching thank you